this is a quick video about my personal expectations for you as a student. So this um, video is Mrs. Evans' expectations. Um, you have quite a few questions that you need to answer for these expectations that are part of a compass assignment. So please make sure you're taking notes as you watch this video. Remember that the questions that you have are when are physical papers to be turned in weekly? I want to know the time in the day. When do assignments need to be turned in for the week? How do you turn in work at the Learning Center? What percentage is lost each day for a late assignment? Do I need to come to the Learning Center? And if I do not come to the Learning Center, what must I do? So these are all questions that need to be answered after viewing this video. However, you can view this video multiple times and I recommend you taking notes. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about turning in work. Now, all assignments for the week are given to you on the Monday, okay? So I give you everything for the entire week on Monday. So you have an entire week to complete all those assignments. Now, does that mean you don't have to do any work until Friday? Absolutely not, because you are required to log in daily into Compass and be logged into Compass for four and a half hours. So with that being said, you still have to do work daily. Um, but how you do it and what order you do it in is up to your discretion. That's the beauty of being in an online program. You don't have to be, okay, from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, you must do math. That's not how this works. How this works is I go ahead and give you all the assignments on Monday, and you have all week to complete those assignments. You need to be working in those assignments on a daily basis, okay, with that being said. Now, all assignments are due no later than Friday at 11.59 p.m. of the week the assignments are assigned. So let's say, okay, um, it's the week of August 20th, you're given all your assignments by Friday the 24th, all the assignments are due. Although, because this is a short week, all the assignments are due by Thursday at 11.59. So there's a little bit of wiggle room with that. It, you know, most of the time everything is due on Friday by 11.59. However, if it is one of those situations where we don't have school on Friday, don't think you have till the end of Friday to finish your work. If you don't have school on Friday, you need to get all your work done by the Thursday. Okay, now how do you turn in work? So you're going to have assignments where you're physically working in Compass, and there's are going to be assignments where you're actually doing um, work in Compass by getting the, um, watching the web link and getting the activities. However, you're going to have physical work in workbooks that you're going to have to be doing. So, how do you turn in work? Well, as a student, you can submit work three different ways, okay? You can either turn your work in through Compass, through the assignment, by physically typing it in. You can physically turn your work in at the Learning Center or at the Achieve office. Okay, or you can go ahead and scan an email assignments and you're going to scan and email them to me to lindsay.evans at d11.org. So let me say that one more time. Three different ways to turn in work. Either you're going to submit through Compass, you're going to physically turn them in at the Learning Center or the Achieve Office, or you're going to scan and email the assignments to me. Now, if you're choosing to turn your work in physically, when are you going to be turning in the work? Well, you're going to be turning in that work on Mon well on Mondays, I don't know. If you've had time on Monday to get work done, you can turn it in on Monday. And on Wednesdays, if you've finished work from Monday and Tuesday and possibly Wednesday, you can turn that work in to me physically. Um, when you're at the Learning Center, there's going to be two bins behind the desk that I'm going to be sitting at. One's going to be labeled fourth grade, one's going to be labeled fifth grade. Of course, if you're in fourth grade, you're going to put your work in the fourth grade bin. If you're in fifth grade, you're going to put your work in the fifth grade bin. Your work must have your name on it. Okay? If your work doesn't have your name on it, I am not going to try to figure out who it belongs to. Okay? I'll just put it to the side. If one day you get a chance to look through it and say, hey, this is my paper, well, your job is to put your name on it. Okay? Um, and your work must be kept together as daily assignments. For example, if you have all of Monday's assignments completed, uh, let's say you have all of your math and your language arts completed, those need to be kept together. 
I'll have a staple, stapler available for you when you get to the Learning Center to staple that work together or have it pre -st already stapled before you come in. But I want Monday's assignments together, Tuesday's assignments together, Wednesday's assignments together. Being that I teach two different grades and I have a lot of prep work to do with that, I expect you guys to have the work together. I don't want to have to scramble to try to figure out, oh, this assignment goes with Tuesday's work or so on and so forth. So it is your responsibility to keep the work together. On another note, um, since the Learning Center is only open on Mondays and Wednesdays, how are you going to turn in all your work for the week on Fridays when it's done? Um, and the answer to this question is you're expected to turn your work in by Friday at 4 p.m. at the Achieve office if you're choosing to turn your work in physically. However, I have some students who they'll turn in um, work up till Wednesday physically and then on Friday, um, Tuesday and Friday, or sorry, Thursday and Friday, they're um, submitting work to me as scanned versions. And that's okay. But if you need to physically turn the work in to me, that work needs to be turned in to the Achieve office by 4 p.m. and given to Carol. Carol will go ahead and make sure that work is go ahead and is put in my mailbox and I'll get that work. If you bring the work in on Monday from the previous work, it's going to be marked down as late. Okay, and for some of you returning students, this is going to be a little bit different for you because this isn't how it was last year. So I'm changing things a little bit. All work is due Friday at 4 p.m. if you're physically turning it in. Okay, of course there's always exceptions for the rules. If you're having a family emergency, all I need to do is be contacted by your parents and we'll make sure we can work with this. Okay, um, I understand life happens. Um, so we can work with this, but if no one's going to call me, no one's going to tell me about it, and then all of a sudden Sunday night I'm getting an email, I'm going to be a little suspicious. So make sure you guys stay on top of this for turning in physical work. Okay, so we just mentioned that if you don't turn in work, that it can be marked down late if it's not turned in on time. Um, as fourth and fifth graders, you guys are going to be aware that there are consequences to not turning work in on time. So the question is, what percentage is lost on late assignments? For each day an, day an assignment is late, it's going to be 10% of your grade is going to be lost. Um, for example, if you've received 100% on the assignment, but it's a day late, you're going to be docked 10% and it's going to become a 90%. Okay, let's say it's two days late, it's going to be an 80%. Three days, 70%, four days, uh, 60%, and um, the fifth day, it's going to be a 50%, which is an F. And at that point in time, it's an F. Um, lastly, let's talk a little bit about needing to come to the Learning Center. Um, you're not required to come into the Learning Center, but it's highly recommended you are going to be required at one point in time to come in for some science experiments because we can't do those um, over the computer. You need to physically be in. But when we're going to have that happen, your parents will be emailed um, and given at least a week's notice about this. So with that being said, you're not required to come into the Learning Center, but it is highly recommended. I like to see you guys, so I really encourage you to come in and enjoy that, that time to go to specials as well. Now, if you don't come to the Learning Center and you're not coming Monday or Wednesday of a week, you are going to be expected to log in um, during my office hours on Thursday at 1 p.m. And the reason for this is not because I have to see you every week, but it's, it's, it's a way for me to check in to make sure everybody is on the same page. So let me repeat that one more time. You don't have to come to the Learning Center unless you are told through... Um, through your parents because I'll send them a link saying everybody needs to come in for science. But if you do not come into the Learning Center on Monday or Wednesday, by Wednesday, I'm going to say, okay, if they didn't come in on Monday or Wednesday, I'm going to expect you to log in on Thursday at 1 p.m. for my office hours so that we can at least have a quick face-to-face -face conversation of, hey, I don't understand the assignment or Mrs. Evans, I've got this. I totally understand what I'm supposed to be doing this week. Um, thanks for your concern. And then that can be the end of it. All right. If you do not come Monday or Wednesday, 
and you don't see me for the office hour link on Thursday, I'm definitely going to be calling your parents just to make sure everything is okay. All right. So I do need to see you one way or the other weekly, whether it be physically at the Learning Center or at least once during my office hours on Thursday. All right. With this being said, let's go ahead and recap real quick because you have some questions that you need to answer. Um, when are physical papers to be turned in weekly? Well, all physical papers need to be turned in weekly by Friday at 4 p.m. at the Achieve office. Okay. When do assignments need to be turned in for the week? All assignments need to be turned in by Friday. If you're physically turning them in, they're due at 4 p.m at the Achieve office. If you're turning them in digitally, that means scanning and emailing them. It's 11.59 that they need to be turned in on that Friday. Or if you're typing them in physically into Compass, they need to be due um, by 11.59 on Friday as well. How do you turn in work at the Learning Center? You can do it three ways. We talked about the three different ways that you can turn in work. Um, you can either submit it through Compass, you can physically turn it in, or you can scan and email. What is the percentage loss for each day? I do believe we talked about that. That is 10% each day. Of course, do I need to come to the Learning Center? No, you are not required to come to the Learning Center on a daily or on a weekly basis. Um, when I do require you to come into the Learning Center, it's going to be for testing and it's going to be for science experiments. Um, but if you do not come to the Learning Center on a daily basis, you do need to at least log in to my office hour link on Thursday. Okay, with that being said, that's going to conclude this video. If you have further questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact me.